We need to first understand what discipline is. You see, discipline in the most simplest definition is doing the things that we don't wanna do like we wanna do that. Discipline is something that goes beyond motivation and inspiration. Discipline is staying committed to your promises long after the emotions in which you originally set those in have subsided. What do we know about motivation and inspiration? Well, they're based on emotions. And what do we know about emotions? They naturally ebb and flow. They do, we have our highs and we have our lows. But if we're basing the trajectory of our lives on something that naturally ebbs and flows, you can understand that we'd be in for a very rough ride. You see, discipline is showing up for yourself even when you don't feel like it. Discipline is knowing that you're sore or a little bit tired, or perhaps you're running into some roadblocks and it's really frustrating. Perhaps you've encountered some failures, but you still show up for yourself. Discipline is what's actually going to allow you to realize all of your potential. Because no matter what it is that we're doing, no matter how much joy we get out of it, there's going to be a component of it, I guarantee it, that you're not gonna to wanna to do. That it's going to be really challenging. If you don't have the discipline built within you, you're not gonna be able to accomplish all the things that you wanna accomplish. So discipline is extremely important. Now that you know a little bit about what discipline really entails, let's go ahead and jump into some of these more practical tips that you can hopefully implement right away. My name is June Yu. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. I'm super excited to be making this video because it's one of the most frequently asked questions that I get. I think that all of you are very well aware of my day to day in terms of being a student in biomedical engineering, getting both my bachelor's and master's at the same time, being a business owner, doing content creation, so much more. And people understand that it's going to require a ton of discipline to be able to be consistent with all of those things, to have the type of progress that I've had, right? And I think that there are practical ways to approach this, and I'm so happy to be sharing these with you. So if after you watch this video or throughout it that you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Or if you have thoughts about particular ones, I'm more than happy to speak with you there. Please give this video a thumbs up, and of course, subscribe. Now let's get right into the rest of the video. You must learn how to prioritize. You see, anybody can make goals, but it takes a special someone to go ahead and look at their goals and say, you know what, these are the ones that I wanna prioritize because they've asked themselves the hard hitting questions of, is this thing really meaningful to me? Is this something that's actually what I want? Or is it an expectation put onto me by others or by society? Is this something that's going to move the needle? Is this something that's actually going to make an impact on my life and steer the direction in terms of the way that I actually want it to go eventually? You have to ask yourself those things because if you just have a whole laundry list of things that you wanna get done or things that you wanna do in life, there's no way that you're going to be able to establish the level of discipline to have that type of success across the board with all of those things because your bandwidth is limited. And right now, if you're watching this video, probably you're somebody that doesn't have a high level of discipline just yet. And it's not feasible for yourself to spread yourself so thin. Instead, what I want you to do at the beginning of here, when we're thinking about goals that we want to actually get done, that's why you are going ahead and watching this video, right? You want a level of discipline discipline to strive after the goals, but let's go ahead and first thing that we have to do is prioritize them, right? I know that you probably already have in your mind some things. Pause the video, go ahead and write those things down and try to ask yourself those hard hitting questions and prioritize them first. Because when you do that, you're gonna set yourself up for success because you're not spreading yourself out too thin. You have specific areas of focus in your life and you can go ahead and apply yourself to your best of your ability with a level of discipline that we're going to go ahead and cultivate together. So go ahead and do that. And, and I think that's a good first step for us. You must keep yourself accountable. You see, I really do think that discipline and accountability are different sides of the same coin. Because without accountability, there's no way that you can remain disciplined. And without discipline, there's nothing for you to keep yourself accountable for. If you are somebody that has the luxury of a community of accountability partners, great. That's a gift and you should absolutely embrace it and make the most out of it. But I know that most of us aren't in a space in which that is at our disposal. And so I want you to understand that yes, you can absolutely keep yourself accountable but it requires an external system. We can't keep it all up in here. Why? Because we're not talking about discipline for a few days or a few weeks or a few months even. We're talking about discipline over a course of years and that's the only way that we can have true transformation in our lives. You can't keep track of all of that up here. 
right? And many of you are aware of my external system of accountability because I post it on my stories all the time, but I simply just use my Apple notes and there are non-negotiables for myself, which are called my three internal wins. There are my mental wins, my physical wins, and my spiritual wins. I'd be happy to make a video about all of that if, if that's of interest, but those are absolutely non negotiables for me. And I know that I need to keep myself accountable for it because that's the way that I'm going to make true transformation in my life. Without that external system, I wouldn't have been able to track my progress over the span of five years, right? I wouldn't have been able to see that, yes, I did miss a day here and I did miss a day here and I did miss a day here. I missed a few days here, but when I could take a bird's eye view and say, you know what? I've been consistent for a year and a half, two years, two and a half years. And yes, I wasn't perfect, but that's more than okay. It's not about being perfect. It's about staying accountable and going ahead and being disciplined regardless of how I feel. And that also means that being able to bounce back from failures as well. And so when I look at that type of external system, it's a great way for myself to keep me accountable. And recently I've, I've added my girlfriend to that sheet. So I keep her accountable for her non-negotiables and she does the same for me. But I've been doing that for myself for quite a long time. And um, I think that that's just one version of my external system. I also have a journal and I journal every single day. And part of that journaling is simply to go ahead and look at my non-negotiables and ask myself the hard hitting questions of, did I actually have success in them? And I don't necessarily beat myself up over it if I failed that day, but it's about being aware of it so that I can be disciplined starting the next day, right? I can go ahead and go not allow that type of failure to build momentum and lead into a failure for an entire week or a month. No, I get right back onto the right track because I have that external system. And so I think that's the first practical tip that you should really implement. Create a supportive environment. And I was very careful about my word choice in there. I mean that, yes, you can absolutely create one. You see, I know that currently you feel that you're stuck in the environment that you're in, that it was handed to you that you have absolutely no control over, but I wanna empower you and say, you can create a positive one, one that's more supportive. Because if you're constantly experiencing an environment in which it's filled with toxic and negative people, distractions and temptations, it's just going to be so incredibly difficult. And we already know how difficult it is to intrinsically get ourselves to do the things that we need to do. If you're adding to that difficulty with extrinsic demotivators and extrinsic hatred and extrinsic distractions and temptations. It's, it's just going to be so impossible. What I want you to understand is you need to spend more time with those people that are more conducive of that positive environment, that actually share the same types of interests, that share the same type of desires and passions. And if you can have that nearby you, absolutely spend more time with them. I also want to emphasize that I already know what some of you guys are saying and you're thinking, yeah, I'm currently in an environment in which there are no people that I can really resonate with on a deeper level to the point in which June that you're speaking of. And I want to challenge you to that point and say, have you tried to initiate those conversations? Have you tried to be the spark in your group that does want to take your future really seriously? And, and there are conversations that you can absolutely initiate. But if that energy isn't being reciprocated over a long span of time, then yes, I do really think that it's valuable to pull away from the negativity and spend time alone. Now, being alone doesn't mean that you're lonely because I really do believe that you're better off with your own thoughts and you can start to cultivate these positive thoughts and this positive feedback loop versus constantly being around people that are negative, constantly being around a community that's negative, okay? And so that's the importance of an intangible, positive environment. But let's also talk about a tangible one. If we're talking about setting yourself up for success environmentally, you must be aware and cognizant of how much of a difference and impact it can make when you have the things that you need to get done orderly around you, right? And so for me, right, my desk is where I get a lot of stuff done. I'm a student, I run a business, all of that really happens at this desk and I ensure that this position that I'm sitting in is one that's conducive to success, right? I always keep this area neat every single day. Yes, it gets a little bit messy throughout the day, but I'll make sure I clean it before I go to bed because I know the importance of it. But I also know the importance of not having my phone nearby my bed when I wake up in the morning, right? That's also not not necessarily setting myself up for success because I know that type of feedback loop that I'm gonna get where I'm gonna look at my phone and get lost in a black hole of constantly mindlessly scrolling, right? That's not what I wanna be in. 
So focusing on the tangible environment and the intangible environment and one that can be conducive to your success, I think it's really important. You must value consistency over perfection. And I can't overstress, overemphasize this one enough because this fixation on perfection, whether you're aware of it or not, is your greatest chain. It's your greatest limiting factor. It's holding you back. You see, this fear of judgment or failure or embarrassment is actually going to stop you from ever making true progress or even getting started in the first place. I think the gym is such a great example of this. What I see so many times, especially people that are first starting out, is they'll go incredibly hard on, on those first sessions, right? They think that training is supposed to all be about giving it your 110% effort. So they spend three hours in the gym fully exhausting themselves. And yes, it's great that you got that intense workout, but in the grand scheme of things that that stops you from going the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, the eighth, the ninth, the 10th day, does it really matter in the grand scheme of things? You see, for me, when I've been training for the last five years, those first sessions, those in-between sessions, when I wasn't feeling my best, when I was giving it a 30 minute session, a 35 minute session, a 15 minute session, and I wasn't able to put my best foot forward. They don't necessarily matter in the grand scheme of things, except for one aspect of it. And it was the element of which that I actually still showed up for myself in the days that I didn't feel like it. You see, what happens is when we fixate on perfection, on quality of everything that we do, it makes it really, really difficult for us to stay consistent. We think that the standard is perfection, but the standard is consistency. The standard is actually just showing up whether you feel like it or not. And that applies not in the gym only, but also in business, in content creation, in your hobbies, in your relationships. You're not always going to be able to give it 110%, and that's okay. What's not okay is for you to think to yourself, because my standard is perfection and because I'm only feeling 50% today, I'm not going to be able to meet my standards. I might as well not show up. You've lost it. You've lost the importance of it. You've lost the substance of it. So please start to prioritize consistency over perfection because in the quantity, in that body of work that you're going to be able to develop, you're going to be able to extract quality. You're gonna learn how to streamline your processes so that it can become better better quality more efficiently and that's something that you'll learn but right now especially when you're first starting out especially when you're at the beginning of this journey know that it doesn't have to be perfect it just needs to be consistent you need to show up every single day and that's going to do so much more for you in the long run i promise you that so up to this point we've talked about the importance of prioritizing goals so you can set yourself up for success we talked about how accountability and discipline are two sides of the same coin we talked about creating a more of a supportive environment for yourself and we talked about prioritizing consistency over perfectionism and now I think that you have a pretty good starting framework for you to start establishing this discipline I want to add that you should absolutely reward yourself in this process when you do have the successful disciplined action right it's important that you have a positive feedback for it and i'm going to quickly put an example here that i just read a dm of but when other people write these three wins on their stories and they post them i reshare it onto my story and it gives them a ton of exposure right and so a lot of these creators that are first starting out they'll do this and then they think that this is such an incredible positive feedback for them because they understand that they are doing something right that they showcase it to their community and now they're having this other community validate with a lot of the things that they're doing right and obviously that external validation is just a starting place that internal validation is much greater but for them when they post on their story that's their form of internal validation and then yes they get this external validation at the same time and so that's just one example of it but you should reward yourself um, while you're having these types of successes these wins in your life when you're being disciplined so that you can continue to look forward to doing them right and so that's going to wrap up the video and i hope that you leave some comments below in terms of what are some steps that i might have missed or some of the steps that you want to add to I'd be more than happy to respond to you guys make sure you give this video a thumbs up and of course subscribe so until next time please take care and I'll see you all at the top